If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Frugal Filmmaker Q&A. That's the show where you send me questions and I make a valiant attempt to answer them. Hopefully if I can't answer them, someone else can in the comments. But whatever the case, uh, welcome to the show. If you would like your question read on the show, your best bet is to email me at thefrugalfilmmaker at gmail.com. You can also leave a question in the comments below and I'll try and snatch it from there. Or perhaps Twitter, you can find me at Frugal Filmmaker. I have to apologize for the last uh, show that I did because there were some uh, loud sound effects as I was referring to previous films that I had made and I startled several of you and so I apologize for that. I probably should have put a limiter on that and I didn't apologize for giving you a heart attack or blowing out your eardrums or all of that. And I promise I won't do that anymore. If you missed my show last week, I did a show about Audio Blocks, a subscription-based sound effects music looping uh, service where you can download sound clips, uh, but you pay a monthly fee. So if you're curious about doing that kind of a thing, if you're curious at all, please check out that video. Also, if you have been wanting to get a hold of a Frugal Filmmaker short film idea deck, that's the deck of cards that I created a while back that has uh, specific uh, words and ideas on the on the back so that you can hopefully piece together what may be a movie plot that you're working on. Uh, there's a special deal going on right now at Printer Studio where because of Easter they're having a a code Easter 35 will give you 35% off your total price. So instead of paying $15 with the shipping, you're actually paying something like 12. So if you've wanted one of those decks, uh, check out that sale. That'll last until April 1st. Or you can try your luck next week with Trivia Monday, where I'll have a trivia question for you. And if you can answer it first, you will win one of those decks. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into the questions. We're going to start with email today with uh, Al Hebert, who says, I found some work light bulbs that appear to be different color than others. I've read that halogen work lights are 2800K. I've read that tungsten video lights are 3200K. Is it bad to mix them? Okay, so Al's talking about color temperature here. And if you don't know what color temperature is, you might notice it just as you're driving down the street at night where how some of these street lights look white and other ones look orange. Some may even look blue. Well, that's because they have different color temperatures. Daylight is commonly 5600K or Kelvin. Tungsten lights are 3200K. Those are kind of the main two types. And there are other varying uh, color temperatures in between. LED lights seem to fluctuate depending on what kind you buy. You just have to look at the package to know exactly what color temperature you're getting. Normally they will indicate that. But it's not necessarily a bad thing to mix lights if that's kind of what you're going for. Depending on what you white balance on, it's definitely going to impact what the other lights look like. If you white balance uh, to the daylight bulb, the 5600K, and that is what the camera thinks is white, then when a tungsten bulb shows up, 3200K, it's really gonna look warm or orange. If you white balance to a tungsten light or the 3200K light, then when a daylight bulb shows up or daylight itself, it's gonna look really, really blue. The idea is that if you want everything to look white, you'll have to take special care if you have different color temperatures. But if you want a mixed effect, then it's perfectly fine. You just kind of have to know the rules in order to bend them like, in, like anything else. I once did a shot where I was inside of a car and we white balanced actually to the dome light in the car, which was more warm or more tungsteny. Uh, color temperature orange, 3200K. I don't know exactly, it was a dome light. They tend to be more orange, at least they did in this car. And it was raining outside, and it was sort of darkish, but because we color balanced to that light, the window and everything outside looked really blue and I actually thought it was a really interesting kind of effect. Uh, but that's not for everybody, it just depends on what you're going for. You just have to know what you're doing and know a little bit about color te temperature or at least know what's going to happen when certain colors show up if you've white balanced the one color again. Experiment and have fun and you can do all kinds of different things. Next up we have comments from last week's Q&A video. Uh, one of them was from Miley on Disney who says, I'm going to be recording an event at a church. I'll have a wireless mic to lectern going to a mixer slash recorder. I have no idea what to expect them to be doing, but I'm sure if I can't stand next to them with a boom mic while they're doing their stuff, what other mic should I use? Well, it's true, normally in a situation like this, you cannot stand over somebody with a boom mic uh, because they're gonna be on camera, uh, usually in a wider shot, so that doesn't work. You can use a wireless mic, as you uh, indicate here. Uh, you could also run a stationary mic or a stick mic or a handheld mic right up to the lectern and, and place it up next to the other mic. Um, or what I would do in a situation like this, because like you say, you have no idea what this person is gonna do. They could walk away from the lectern and then all of a sudden your sound's blown because now they're 30 feet away over here on the side of the stage. What I like to do is if you're gonna have a, a wireless mic, definitely put it on their person. Uh, or I also like to just run a, a lav mic or a lapel mic into a recorder like the Zoom H1 and plant it on their body. That's a body mic. Um, the only thing about that is you can't really monitor the sound like you can a wireless mic. However, the challenge may come in that scenario where what if you don't have time or 
the resources, namely equipment, to put a body mic on everybody that's going to be talking. You can't really, you know, wait till that one person walks off stage and then switch mics and put it on somebody else. You either have to have them all mic'd up or no one mic'd up, right? You're just going to have that one microphone. So you kind of have to figure out, like, if there, are, if there is only going to be one person, I would put a body mic on them and a mic at the lectern so as a kind of a backup. Uh, but if there is more than one person and you don't have more than one mic, if you do have more than one mic, put it on everybody that's going to be speaking. If you don't, then you're just going to have to depend on that on that one mic uh, at the lectern. Um, or you can always tell them, hey, I've got my microphones, you know, planted here at the lectern. Don't walk away. Uh, now, they might ignore you because maybe that's not their thing. But sometimes the talent or the people are going to be shooting uh, will take advice like that, especially if they are try if they are connected to the final product and they want it to look good. They will take your advice, hopefully. Um, and then you can do your job. If they don't, then it's just kind of a crapshoot. You just have to hopefully you know, work with what you've got. But they will also have to be satisfied with what you give them if they do not follow your directions. So you can tell them that as well. Our final question comes from Reyes Films, who says, how do you add that short intro in front of all your videos? Now, I did a video on this a while ago, which was basically uh, how YouTube gives you this option where you can upload a three-second video and then attach it to every single one of your videos uh, or video starting at a certain date, I think it was. Uh, so you have this intro and it's a great idea and I actually dropped mine for a while because I wanted to prove it or change it and I just never got around to it. So finally I've gotten around to it and now you, you've got this three second intro which you saw at the beginning of this video. And it's really simple to do. You just go into your creator studio and then go to branding and the screen will pop up uh, allowing you to add this video. The downside is that this, this is going to end March 31st which is tomorrow I believe. So if you're gonna upload a video and have an intro video, you better get it up fast because YouTube will leave it on your videos if you so choose, or they will delete it if you so choose. It just depends on what button you have activated. So if you want this, definitely uh, upload it now because you're running out of time and that will add an intro to all your videos. The sad thing is you will never be able to change it again. It's either going to be the video you upload now and activate or nothing because I think that once you, I, th I believe they still will, will allow you to remove it in the future but you just won't be able to add anything else, which is unfortunate because I think this was a good addition and something nice that we could all as creators add to our videos, but now it's gonna be gone. And it was only there for about a year anyway, so it's uh, it's kind of sad that this is just YouTube, like Facebook seems to be in transition all the time, adding new things, dropping things. We talked about YouTube cards a couple weeks ago and things like that, so. That's all the questions we have this week. Again, if you're interested in having your question read on the show, please send it to thefrugalfilmmaker at gmail.com. That's your best chance of having it read on the show. You can also try commenting below, or you can send me a question on Twitter, at frugalfilmmaker. Again, I thank you all for sending your questions in this week, and if you have questions, please ask me. I'll do my best to answer them. This has been the Frugal Filmmaker Q&A. There'll be another video this Thursday and another Q&A on Monday, which will be Trivia Monday. So check it out. We'll see you later.